Hey everyone, this is Susan from the Graceful Lily Market and I am taking part in a collaboration uh, challenge uh, which is a thrifting challenge and to see how we incorporate it into our home decor. This challenge is by Nicole Northgarden and also Robin Johnson as the co-host and I will link their channels in the description. So I'm, I'm going to do things a little different and I'm going to go around my house and show you my favorite thrifted items and how I deco uh, decorated it. So first we're going to start with this uh, shelf. It is like a wood and metal shelf in my kitchen nook. So I wanted something to display my uh, cake plates collection from uh, Fenton. Well, most of them are Fenton and uh, Westmoreland. And uh, all of these were bought on eBay, but I wanted to uh, highlight the ones, the things on this shelf that I thrifted. So here, I thrifted this crock pot. It's pretty new, but I never found I mean never found one for ten dollars. So I was able to get this at actually at a rummage sale, at a church rummage sale for ten dollars. So I grabbed it right away and then I started to collect these and didn't actually know how I was gonna um you know put them in my decor. So it just all came together when I had this empty and uh, actually I was using it as a planter uh, and then I decided to put it here on the shelf when I got the shelf and I started to just put all the thrifted uh, rolling pins that I found and I have found more than these so I'm gonna have to find another crock pot or some some other way to uh, decorate with these uh, rolling pins like these two I have here um, I had to get this one because it had the red handle and it was in great condition and I think I only paid two or three dollars so each of these rolling pin pins at, at my goodwill I paid two or three dollars and at the Humane Society uh, which they always overprice everything for some reason they have theirs at a dollar something some weird pricing and here is a really large rolling pin um, I think I got that from the Humane Society. And here I have thrifted this pan. It's a silver plate pan, but it was in such bad condition that I went ahead and, you know, chalk painted it. And I, I just think it looks really nice. And I uh, gave it a little, uh, if you can see, a little distressing on there. So I love the way it it's like a backdrop to this shelf. If I can put it back the way I had it. <laughs> so it's like a backdrop drop to the shelf. And all these I bought on eBay little by little. I this was a Facebook marketplace. Um this I thrifted which I was very happy about. I I think I only paid five dollars for it, which they're kind of expensive um, if you go online on eBay and try to buy it. So I was very happy about this and it's Fenton. It has the hob nails on the bottom. And I also thrifted this, uh, what is it, Swan glass vase, which I did not know they had in a milk glass. I believe, I don't know if it's signed, Yes, it's a Westmoreland. So I think I only paid, this, is, this I got at the Humane Society, which likes to um, charge up for things. So I believe it was $20, but they had half off. So I got it for 10. And all of these, some of these were eBay purchases, but some of them are thrifted because I had to, put some of my milk glass on this uh, plates rack. This one I thrifted. 
which is kind of like an oddball in here because it's black, but I just had to, has the white in it, so I had to stick it in there. And this is also thrifted. I think I only paid $2. It came with another plate, but I was able to sell that because I'm a, I'm a reseller. So I sold that one and this one didn't sell, so I kept this one. And here's another swung vase. Look how beautiful I like almost fell back with another swung base from this place, uh, the Humane Society. Now this one is not signed and believe I believe it's Fenton because of the hobnail. So I love that. And I believe I bought this on eBay. This is thrifted because I always wanted one of those, you know, solid marble. Let's see what else is thrifted. I I thrifted this. I was so shocked and lucky to get this because they go for more. I think I paid ten dollars. And oh, and all I had this. This used to be my daughter had it as a fish tank. Like she just used the bottom part. We bought this at Target a long time ago, and then I think um, well she didn't use it anymore. She had a fish tank and um, so then I had it empty here on the shelf for a while. I didn't know what to put in it. And then I saw somebody on YouTube or maybe a magazine, I'm not sure, that was using their, to store their vintage cookie cutters. So I started doing that. So, so now uh, since I'm almost full, I'm very picky about the cookie cutters that I get. Like here's some old ones that I got at the Humane Society. Some of the, most of these are from the Humane Society or um, Goodwill. And now I'm being very picky about what I get. They have, now I want more with these green or red handles is what I want to fill it up with. So I'm very happy with that. And if I get more, I might have to find a different way to store them. And what else do I have in here? I have a basket wall, but I only thrifted one because they're not easy to find. Actually, two. This one right here, I thrifted, which I was so happy. I think I paid $10. I believe it's African. All of these are African that I got on eBay. They weren't too expensive because I found a, a buyer, uh, a seller that that had um, good prices on them. And this one also I thrifted. Simple, it doesn't have any patterns, but I love the way that it's coiled. So I decided to add it to my basket wall. And this one as well, I paid $12 for this one. And also this little tiny one, I, I think it was only $2 but I, I didn't put it in my basketball because it's an oval shape. And my husband made me this ladder, but I thrifted this tapestry and it, the blues are my color. So I kind of folded it like a blanket, even though it's a tapestry, because I wasn't gonna hang it. Uh, and, and now I have it here like a blanket. And I love the colors of it. And it actually has a label that it's made in Morocco so I love that too, that it's authentic. And I have to introduce to you my rooster of the house. I bought him for $10 at a Goodwill and we named him, well, I, I named him and it starts with an R and I can't remember what we named him. I think it was uh, Ronaldo or Rudolph or one of those with R's. Uh, but he is so great. Like he's not even signed, but I mean, I love the details. Like you can even see his tongue and it was in perfect shape. Like, I don't even know how that tongue survived in, um, in Goodwill, but he is, and he's very heavy too. He's really big. And of course, 
I have to show you everything that I've thrifted in my blue and white cabinet. Now I put, this is, this is in my dining room and I put all of my blue and white china and blue and white tchotchkes or whatever. So let me just tell you what I thrifted. I thrifted this picture, I believe it's Blanco, um, going by the way that it's made, you know, and also uh, looking it up in a, in a Blanco, old Blanco um, ad. So it, I believe it's Blanco. I bought it at the Humane Society. I think I paid up $20 for it, but it's very heavy, it's nicely made. It's, you know, made as Blanco wouldn't be made, so. And what else? From here, all these little things that I found that are Dutch, I usually find them um, thrifted. I found a bunch of these hen on nests that were uh, at a Goodwill. That so it was someone's collection. So I was able to get this one. They were all $10 each, which I thought was a good price. So I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. Um, I got these two. And I got this one. I love this one because it's standing. And I believe that might have been it. I think I had another one, like a purple one. Oh, I, I, yeah, I have a purple one, like a, um, a slag glass kind, and I have it in my collection of pink stuff, which is in my bedroom. I thrifted this, and I believe it is Fastoria. Um, I thrifted this vase. Don't know, I don't believe it's Fenton, but I really like the way it, it it's like a waffle top, swirl glass. I thrifted this also. Um, it's crystal cobalt blue decanter. Um, let's see. I have to mention, even though this is not thrifted, I got a whole collection of Fenton glass at Facebook Marketplace, this lady was moving and she sold her whole collection that she had. It wasn't a huge collection, but it was uh, it was such a savings for me. Um, she, I offered her a hundred dollars and she took it, but it will it included this beautiful basket, um, a matching uh, what would you call this covered trinket. Um, box or whatever uh, and there was more Fenton stuff that was in the pink category or or raspberry category so that's with my pink stuff and let's see what else did I thrift from here I did find this at a thrift shop that closed down so it's a set of them from Fenton, I love it. And this also, I wanted a, you know, something to come up, uh, to kind of <clears throat> remind me of my husband and I's wedding. And this is what I got. Uh, it's vintage. And it's beautiful. I love her dress, it's like satin. I think I only paid less than $5 for that, but I love it. And I thrifted this. I thought it would go well with my blue and white theme here. And I thrifted most of these um, Amsterdam or what do they call it? Holland uh, trinkets. Yeah, I have thrifted this a long, long time ago. I don't even remember. I think I paid $10 for that. This is Wedgwood. I thrifted these candle holders cobalt cobalt blue i don't believe they're signed but <clears throat> it just went with my with my aesthetic here and also these salt um sellers also cobalt blue this little uh i think it's like a perfume or a sniffer cobalt blue this i thrift wedgwood 
um, I thrifted a lot of Wedgwood. This also, this is, um, which I've never seen before, is a, a flower frog. Um, I thrifted these. I thrifted this, this perfume cobalt blue bottle. Now this, I believe I was told it's Murano. Oh, there's the sticker. So it is Murano. Can you see the sticker, Murano? So I wanted to keep it for myself, even though I'm a reseller because I love anything blue. I thrifted this. Now, I was tempted to sell this because it, it come because th these are rare and it's, you know, from Holland. I think I could have gotten $50 for it and I only paid $10 for it. And, but I just wanted it. It's so cute. If I ever want to, if I ever grow tired of it, I would sell it. I thrifted this perfume bottle. I don't believe it's Murano, but I really loved the flowers in it. And I thrifted it at a Goodwill when I went to Jacksonville. Uh, let's see, this, I found this little dish too. It's a very small little dish, but it goes with my aesthetic here. I thrifted this little shoe as well. It has the cat in the front. This is just a little dish, like a butter dish. What else? I think I thrifted this one and this one because I wanted another one. I got it at Facebook Marketplace for a really good price with two of them, two birds. And what else? I thrifted this huge platter. Um. I forgot what I paid for it, but it's pretty big. I got this at, this is my latest from Facebook Marketplace. It goes with my dishes and it wasn't cheap because it's, I believe it is, I can't read that, but it is, I don't know, Denmark, that's what it is. It's a Denmark face. And oh, I thrifted this. Look at these, these are Bristol glass. I did buy them at a good price and I was gonna sell them. And I was asking for maybe 200 to start and then, you know, negotiating room because they're a pair. I believe they're antique, they're hand painted. The color is gorgeous. They're like a mint green. And um, then I just decided to keep them after having them up for sale for a month. I decided to keep them because um, nobody wants to pay $200. People want to pay a hundred. And I wasn't, I didn't want to let it go for a hundred because I love them so much. This is thrifted. I thought it went so well with this. I believe, I can't, I can't remember who, who makes it now. Viking or Fasoria, I can't remember now. This I thrifted, a nice big bowl. It's not marked, but it has the blue and white, which I love, and it's a very huge pitcher. And I thrifted these, which these are rare colors and they're very expensive online. You have to pay over $50 for a piece. So I got the plate, I believe, at Goodwill for $10 maybe. And this one I paid up at an antique store for 40, which is still a good price for such a large bowl. Um, they go for a hundred probably on eBay. And let's see what else for I think that's it for here. Oh, and I wanted to say that that large platter right there 
I did buy on Bed Bath & Beyond is an anniversary spode platter and I did pay 50 some dollars for it but um last year I found one thrifting brand new looking just like this same uh, anniversary plate I think it's a 200 anniversary um plate of spode and I was able to sell it for $50 when I bought it for 10. So, so this up, I would say that, you know, I got it for free since I bought, I found another one to sell and this one didn't cost me anything. So I wanted to show you how it looks all together. I just love the blue and white and the different variations of blue together because I just, my favorite color is blue. So it just looks really nice. Now, um, I'm gonna show you the artwork around my house. Okay, this is not artwork, but I found this frame at a Humane Society for $10 is huge. It covers my wall here. This is a couch, it's a little messy right now but it's huge and my husband made me a chalkboard out of it um i've had it over my couch for a while now i'm thinking of putting some artwork and putting this somewhere else but i have to mention it because it was such a good deal and the original price of the frame on the back was 200 dollars. so that was a steal and i love the gold you know details of it I have a simple oil painting here. I like, I, I seem to be attracted to the floral oil paintings. So I have one here. I was trying to cover this pool alarm that no longer works that came with the house. I guess it was an alarm with, where they had set up um, a gate uh, around the pool and it's no longer connected. But here's a little painting signed by Dale. I think I found other Dale paintings in my area. He must be local maybe, but I like the frame as well. Now this I found on Facebook Marketplace. I had to mention it. Um, it's very, very like thick strokes. And this is an old one. And actually it is signed, it's a Russian artist and it's from the, the 70s because it has the year in the back, I believe it's 1971. And since I'm a 70s child, I, I just, and I just love it that it's floral, that it went well with my, you know, with my dining room. And over here I have another one and the reason why I got this is because they are Black Eyed Susans. For you guys that don't know, Susan is a lily. And that's why my, <laughs> my business is called the Graceful Lily Market. And these are Black Eyed Susans. And when I saw it on Facebook Marketplace, I had to get it. I did pay up $40 because supposedly according to the seller, it is a known artist. I don't even know what it said. I haven't even looked it up, but I just love the painting. Here is another painting. I love this one. I got it at Goodwill. As soon as I saw it, I had, did not hesitate to pick it up. It is signed. I don't know what that says, but it's floral. I love the frame, so I picked it up love the details and it has the blue in it like i love okay and this is in my bedroom the lighting might be a little messed up um i love this painting i got it for really cheap i think it was 18 dollars. they had it marked up but it was a 50 percent off sale and this one also is signed 
and I just love it. I mean, anything with flowers. So I picked it up. I, I like anything that's gold framed, especially in my bedroom, because I had that aesthetic in here. And I just love the daisies. Beautiful. And it's a pretty long pain. Okay, here in my bedroom uh, as well, I have this huge painting that I saw from across the room and had to have it at a rummage sale, a church rummage sale. And I did pay $40 for it, but it was worth it. Um, I was gonna put this in my eBay room, which is pink. And I knew that I wanted it there, though it did not fit the space because it go it's um because it's vertical I needed I realized I needed a horizontal painting so I put this in my bedroom instead okay and these are a few of my things that are waiting to be put away that I thrifted now this one I mentioned before that it was um Look like somebody gave up their uh, chicken on nest or whatever we call it, hen on nest, <laughs> chicken on nest. And this is like a purple, almost like carnival glass, slide glass. And I love it. And it's gonna go in with my pink stuff because it didn't go with the blue aesthetic of my dining room. And I just picked this up on Facebook Marketplace for $5. This is a Fenton, $5. This woman had $5 on this, as well as this Fenton egg. And they go for like $40 online. So I'm kind of thinking maybe to sell this one. I'm not sure, I might keep it, but this I wanna keep for sure. It's beautiful, it goes with my pink decor. This is also something that I thrifted. It goes, kind of goes with the hen on nest. It's a coincidence, I didn't buy it together, but they make a good pair. I bought this at, it's a little dusty right now. I bought this at uh, um, Facebook Marketplace. I've been wanting one of these, especially uh, cause I follow uh, Tarnished Treasures and she has one. And, and she said that she got hers uh, it's it's scratched up really good. I mean, I tried everything on the internet and I knew that buying it because I was buying it really cheap for 10 or $20, I can't remember which one it was because this is an antique. Um, everywhere I, I looked online, they went from 50 to $100 and even more. So when I found this, that I could buy this for $20, I took it even though it's all scratched up it's fine you know I like you know things to look worn in I tried everything online though to try to lessen the look of the scratches so there's a lot of scratches and marks but at least there's no breaks and I'm happy to have it so that I have to find a place to um, incorporate in my decor but also look, this is also something that I uh, got on Facebook Marketplace. I did pay up for it, but it was less than buying it at an antique store or anywhere. I believe I paid, oh gosh, I paid 40, 40, cause they go for almost a hundred dollars for cranberry glass Fenton. And then I got these little i was able to get a set of three so you know i do have a small collection of these angels oh uh, my other one is being displayed for fourth of july so it was may june and july i do have other angels but i need to get more to i want to do the whole uh you know all the months and of the calendar Look how pretty these are. These were only $10 each, which if you go 
on eBay, they can go upwards of 20, 25. So I think I got a good deal. And I got these little babies. Um, also on Facebook Marketplace for, oh, I can't remember, $15 each. It's so cute. I just had to have them. This one, I am so glad. This is I thrifted at the Humane Society. They wanted $20 for it. This is Humane Society prices their things up. But it was a 50% off sale, so I got it for $10. It's a leptin, and I love it. So, you know, it's a vase, but I'm not going to use it as that. Just display it. And my mom thrifted this for me. Look how cute that is. I believe, yes, Japan. Look how adorable that is. So now um, we're moving to my living room for one last area to show you. Okay, so this is my living room and this is my entertainment center. I have to show you the things that I've thrifted in this um, in this area. First, we look up here, and well, that basket is supposed to be on top of there. I've been telling my husband to put it up there. I cannot reach it, not even with a ladder, because we have very high ceilings. Um, he hasn't been doing it um, as of late because you know he's been working hard. So those. It started with this collection right here. I got that Facebook Marketplace for $10. And then it just followed me that the rest of them, these other two, I got them at Goodwill for $10 each. So these baskets are really cute. I thought it would, you know, even out what I have on the other side, which is some suitcases that I got on eBay a long time ago. And also that fan. Okay, so what I thrifted here is I thrifted this big candle holder or, or votive holder is what I would say. But let me check. I think it's Pottery Barn. Or yes, it's a pot Pottery Barn. Original price $79. And I got it for $10. Ten dollars. Yes, I like that. And here, I got these at a flea market, and I did pay up for these. But the alternative was to pay. At the time, these were going for a lot. These were going for two hundred, three hundred, up to five hundred dollars for these vintage door stoppers. So I had a Jack Russell, which kind of looks similar to this, so I had to have him. So I paid $50 for him and $50 for the Boston Terrier. So when on eBay, they were going for up to $300, I was able to get these for $50 each. And that's what I have here. Let's see, on this side, this is a typewriter. I love typewriters. So I got, I have this one. This one's from the 18, no, the 1900s, but the teens. So it's like a 1918 type typewriter. And then these cameras. I love these cameras. They're all thrifted. These are really old. Um, this might be for the teens or the 20s. Um, this, I believe, is from the 50s. And this the same. I think it's from the 20s or 30s. Then I went to a um, like a flea market, and this guy was trying to get rid of these. He said that I could take them for $2 each because they don't work which I don't care because I'm not gonna use them. So this is a Kodak Brownie right here. So, so these are what used to be like camcorders of their time. Um, so I got them for $2 each, which is great. This one cranks. 
believe these are mostly from the 50s. So I love those. Then I gotta show you over here. I had just bought this one. I did not include it in my haul, my last haul, because I had it already displayed. This typewriter, I believe, is from the 40s. Um, it's a Royal. And I did pay up for this at a Goodwill, believe it or not. It was $40 at a Goodwill. I know. But the alternative was to pay $100, you know, at an antique store. So I decided I wasn't going to take it, but then at the end, I really had to have it. And sure enough, after this, we did go to, to an antique um, place and they didn't have anything similar to this. And I'm glad that I bought it. I think it's worth it for me. Okay, one last thing. I thrifted this. I have a mess on my table here because I'm putting away um, spring stuff. I know I'm late, but this is a geese or goose, whatever. <laughs> he is huge. And online, it's $170 to, to buy him. It comes from the store. It's, it's under there, the name of it. I can't remember. Uh, it's made out of all wood. It's huge. I can't even tell you how much, like almost two feet wide. Um, I had to have them. The thrift store wanted 169 as the price that is brand new on their website, which I thought it was ridiculous. I was kind of fighting with the guy who prices it and I said, can I get a discount on this? I mean, I, the price is too high, I told them. And actually it was 50% off that day and I still wanted a discount because it still came out to 80 something dollars. And he goes, well, it's 50% off today. And he actually told me that I that shouldn't even be out there. I should have brought it in. And I was like, oh, really? And this is the Humane Society. And, um, they wanted $169 and I said, and I told him that's, that's what you pay for it new. I told him and he's like, well, it's 50% off. So that's the price. So he didn't want to give me a discount. So I didn't want to take it at first, but I had to bring him home because I've been admiring him for a while. He's been sitting there for a month or so, nobody purchasing it because nobody wanted to pay $180. So when the 50% off came along, I contemplated it, walked around the store a little bit, even went to the register, wasn't gonna get him. And guess what? He ended up coming home with me. So out here, I had to show you my little, my little planter collection in my little garden away from our actual garden. <laughs> so I thrifted this owl, he's a planter. Uh, and I thrifted him right before Halloween. So, but um, he's been out here ever since last Halloween. I had to have him and I didn't want to put him away. He is gorgeous. Then I found these little ones from the Humane Society, maybe paid $2 for each because of just the, it's cute. I love frogs and then the elephants here. Um, these are from the dollar store, so do not mind. It's just stuff that I add to embellish my little area here. Then this is thrifted. This is from the 80s, I believe. He's a little gnome. It's signed somewhere. I forgot who's the artist. His name is Miles the Gnome but I, maybe you guys have seen him. Uh, I try to sell him a few times and uh, people come, you know, like I sold on Marketplace and people will come and be disappointed that it's not an actual statue. And I was selling him for $20. I don't know what they thought that this was gonna be an actual garden gnome. So he is pretty big for a figurine, but yeah, I've had two people come and say, oh, I thought he was bigger, even though I did put the size measurement, even in the title, I put the measurement. But anyway, I thrifted this. 
I can't believe that this I found. It's pretty big. It's McCoy at um, uh, Goodwill. This also is a McCoy that I found at a Goodwill. And, um, it's a nice color. The thing is that I tend to pick up green, at least for this collection, and you know, some browns to match the green. So this is also a planner that I got thrifting. And then I found this turkey, uh, like uh, during the last year's holiday season. So I thought he was perfect. More green, I believe this is McCoy. No, this is Hull. This I had to get, uh, I was gonna sell him, but I thought it would be cute for a bamboo. And this is my daughter's bamboo, it didn't make it, it died she names her plants she moved her plants here to my my little planter display because uh the cat was eating her plants um this vase i think i might sell because it's not a planter and it's a uh, frank francoma it's pretty big i love the colors and then these little vases this is my favorite Look at that. And it was all in perfect condition. It's a Shawnee. I, and it was like before Christmas. So I wanted to keep him. And so he is going to just stay there all year round. And here also another planter. I think that, that might be another haul. This, oh my God, this is like one of my favorites. I believe this is an old McCoy. It's not a sign or a Weller. I think the, I don't know, I looked it up. It looks like it might be Weller on that 100%. And then this is a little one that made by an artist. I should continue my my planter. Whenever I see them, I, I do, and then I'll get rid of some stuff like, you know, things from the dollar store, maybe this and sell it online for to make room for you know, nicer planters. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, adventure going through my house, looking at thrifted items and how I put them together in my house. I, like I said before, I hope this is not too long, but it was fun for me to be able to share this with someone. Like I said, my husband and my kids really don't care about stuff like this. So it's nice to share it with people who would appre appreciate it. So I will see you guys in another video. And don't forget to check my description for um, Nicole Northgard Northgarden's channel and also Robin Johnson's video. So I hope you will enjoy their videos and click like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks a lot. See you guys in the next video. Bye.